Uh, if you can hear the fan in the background, I apologize. I'm extremely lazy. Uh, I got up at 4 in the morning when I set my alarm for 4 in the morning, so I had my quiet time. And I'm supposed to walk by 6.30. But I feel like walking. And uh, uh, I was just writing on the computer, like, endlessly. You know, I like to write, so um, obviously I like words. So I was just doing a lot of that about, you know, I don't know, this is, I don't know, I just enjoy it, anyways, um, I'm getting the impression that this guy's not going to help me too much, you know, it's, I, I kind of feel like I'm on my own, you know, it's like, because I talked to this dude the day before, and I need, like, this app sent to my phone, and I'm an old guy, so, you know, some old guys are tech savvy, I'm not, I could care less. I need an app for a face-to-face -face, uh, so you can look at my face on my phone um, so I can uh, get my volume refilled because uh, you gotta have you can't get a new prescription written without seeing the guy in person and you can't see the guy in person under the present rules at the facility he inhabits so I just asked the guy the day before, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can send you that in the email. He says, just let me know when you get it and stuff. So I didn't get it, and I was like, well, you said to let me know when I when I got it. I didn't get it, and he's like, what the hell are you talking about? He had no idea what I was talking about. Now, this happens a lot with this guy, where uh, he doesn't remember what he said or what I'm talking about, you know, or he's repeating things. And it's like, kind of feel like I'm on my own as far as like moving out of here. And since I have trouble walking, that's not a comforting thought. Now, I talked to my brother since my brother, like, you know, said yes and then said no as far as moving in with him for a few months so I can get some uh, country living and get some sunshine and sitting outside and whatnot. But he called me when I was like half asleep. I was like, eh, I better pick up the phone because I go to sleep so early because I wake up at 4 o'clock. You know, I don't want him to think that I'm cold shouldering him or anything like that. So I talked to him. I told him right away. It's like, I'm sleepy. I'm like, uh, he was like, oh, I can let you go. And I'm like, no, tell me what you did today. You know, and I had a conversation with him, but I didn't say, and, you know, I was half asleep. So I didn't, didn't wade through that emotional minefield of like, uh, yeah, okay, that kind of was not cool. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go there as far as, like, you know, what about all the stuff I did for you and all that, because that's a big deal, you know, somebody crashed, a, somebody couch crashing for, like, three months at your house. And, uh, you know, even if, it's, it's still a big deal. I, I think it's a big deal anyway. I mean, maybe some of y'all don't, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so... I feel like as far as moving, I'm on my own, and like, I gotta deal with this tea thing first, it's like, I'm not even looking at apartments or anything until I, I mean, I gotta, I've been stuck in here, and I can get my head straight and venture out into the COVID world, you know, and get dental work done, which is stressful for most people, I hate it, like, most people hate going to the dentist, I better, my, uh, sun blocker collapsed this morning stamp 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 and then this collapse so you know I don't I don't fucking know I don't understand um yeah it's just the laws of physics you know uh but anyways um so I've been I've been taking like mainly 10 milligrams of volume a day and then um uh, Neurontin, either one or two pills. These are light doses of Neurontin now. These are 100 milligram pills. If you, you can even look this up. But like my doctor was like, well, you know, we can up that to as much as 1,200 milligrams a day. I'm like, no. You know, but we'll start you out at the lowest dose, which is 100 milligrams a day. So I take 100 milligrams or I take uh, 200 milligrams of it. Yesterday I took 200 milligrams of it since it lasts longer. Then the benzos. I took 200 milligrams of it, and then later on I took a benzo, 
And but I tend to when I wake up in the morning on the rotten, I tend to be like lazy or lazier. So I don't like that part of it. And um, there's really no reason for me, you know, to be conserving the volume. I don't think I don't really think that's going to help me get off of volume. You know, I, I counted my pills out. I had 51 pills. And if I take three a day, and I did some math and stuff, I'm like, I counted how many pills I was ahead, and I was like, oh, you know, there's at least six days here lately where uh, I only took um, two pills. So, you know, so I'm ahead like a couple of days, by my, by my figuring anyway. I could be wrong. I'm not, math, my math is horrible. But I did count them out and I to kind of see where I was at. I don't know if this is good for me or if I should like go back to 15 milligrams. I just don't feel like I need it. You know, I feel like I'm relaxed in the mornings and then like I feel like an edge come on to things around noon. I get up at 4 and like sometime between uh, 11 and 12 o'clock I feel like an edge come on me and then I'll take a five milligrams of volume and I take five milligrams before I go to sleep and um, you know but I think it's just because I'm taking the Neurontin and uh, the Neurontin amplifies the effects of uh, benzodiazepines and opiates so yeah the lights about to become unbearable in here so I guess this will be short but um, yeah it's gonna be real nerve-wracking as far as like uh, going on you know this is the first thing I've done in like since the COVID thing hit in February here I mean we had our first case in the county like or, you know, around the beginning of March but uh, COVID's been a national thing here we got I forget when we got the Ohio got declared a disaster area and everything shut down but, uh, okay, I remember now. It was uh, two weeks before April 6th, whatever date that is, because they said they were going to close everything until April 6th. And then I was like, bullshit, they're going to keep it closed a lot longer than April 6th. So they kept everything closed until May 1st, and then they slowly, they're slowly reopening things now. And I have to get off my lazy butt instead of just having fun writing and trying to be witty in print. I have to look up you know, look up the Ohio statistics because I haven't done that in like forever to see if um, this opening up of businesses shows any, if, what the situation actually is here as far as um, uh, COVID. And it might be one of the things where like, it might be, we won't know until June or July what the effect of opening the state has been. I asked my aid worker about it, you know, you think they would know more about it, but she said she didn't really know. But she said, oh, they opened the state of Georgia, and they've actually had a decrease in the state of Georgia after they opened it up. And I was like, well, not. It spread so fast, though, you think the impact would be immediate as far as, like, opening things up. If it's spreading so damn fast that they're shutting things down in a panic, if they open things back up and more people are getting together, you, the spike would be, the increase would be seen pretty fast, you'd think. Um, but I don't really know, you know, but as far as like, that's all I wanted to report. Um, now I gotta, <laughs> I gotta work around this. See, the problem is I could put the blind back in there, but the blind doesn't really block out the light anyway. And that would mean I would have to get off the ground on a step ladder. Not a good plan to reach up there because it's the window goes way up there where she knocked the blinds out but now that she knocked this thing over um, I have to figure I don't know what to put up there you know I got this big ass fucking mirror I could maybe turn backwards and then I don't know it's not the, I, I don't know but anyways I gotta figure that out because it's about to uh, cancel my program here uh, you know how baseball games are canceled because of rain. I'm about to be canceled because of sun. Because even though it is uh, gloomy here and looks like rain, um, that's too much light coming in through there. If the sun should break out, I would just be washed out.
But, uh, yeah, so this guy doesn't remember what I'm saying. I'm kind of feeling like I'm on my own. Uh, my family clearly is not going to help me. I got this other family situation going on where I don't even know if I want to get involved in it at all. You know, they haven't been calling me. I would have to call them and I'd have to be like, uh, hey, what's up? You know, knowing uh, something happened and some other person's telling me, like, don't tell them you heard it from me, you know, and I'm like, why would I do that? You know, why would I just wade in with that? <laughs> like, someone told me that this happened. So, so yeah, it's like, I'm getting involved. I, I don't know. You know, it's like, uh, this particular individual treats me pretty good, though, mostly. So, I feel like I should call him, but, uh, at the same time, it's, um, I got enough stress just living in the building here and, you know, having the stamp of source, knock things over and whatnot. And there's, uh, the little ones up there too, mini stamp of source is up there stamping around too, so, but they killed my sun blocker. And, uh, you know, why does some, why would something hold and, and just how does something like that happen? It has to be because of the vibrations. You know, these are some serious boom, boom. Like, I call them impact tremors. So, um, anyways, yeah. So I just I concentrate on the teeth thing. And uh, staying positive and focused on that this week. Uh, today I have to make a couple of phone calls because everything fell on the 28th and I just grabbed the, I didn't even think about it, I just grabbed the first dental appointment they gave me. Because I figured because they had been shut down that everybody's going to be wanting dental appointments. So, you know, and you, I didn't want to wait because you never want to wait on teeth. Because uh, you, you go from like, oh, that feels a little weird to, ah! you know, and it's me in agony. Um, and it seems like it ha can happen fairly fast. Uh, so, you know, I want, I didn't want to put that off, so I was like, 28th, fine, I got two other appointments on the 28th, so now I have to make two calls and, uh, cancel them. One of them is like the, uh, uh, face-to-face -face thing for the, uh, volume, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I mean, I'll have extras, but he don't know that, you know, I mean, I have extras off of this little yellow ones but I have like uh, over a hundred of the blue ones so which are twice of those those are five milligrams the blue ones are ten milligrams so it's not like I'm in any danger of any of anything but you don't know that because the prescription on on the bottle says the first no it'll probably show if he looks it up that I picked it up on the fifth anyway so obviously no one is going to go want to go through benzo withdrawal for it would it would probably be 48 hours of cold turkey you know cuz it hangs around in your system longer volume does so it would be at least 48 hours of cold turkey nobody's volunteering for that um so he if he was to think about it he would be like oh okay something's going on here because prescriptions due on the first he's not picking up until the fifth and um, so I mean I, I probably had extra yellow ones uh, I don't even remember but yeah yeah that's about it I, I don't I just stop in for a, a brief hello and um, that's pretty much what's going on like, I don't really know, I know I want to quit benzos, but I don't really know, you know, the last time I dropped my dose, it was like a fucking disaster. So, I don't really know if I want to do this, but I feel like, like, if I don't feel like I need them, why the hell should I be taking them? You know, if my whole goal is to quit taking benzos, and I don't feel edgy, nervous, and I feel okay, then why in the fuck should I take them? You know, so, yeah. I definitely got to get moving though, and uh, get out of bed. I can't sit here and write all the time. I actually could if I didn't have a body to worry about. I could just sit here and think and 
and like like I told somebody before and they thought it was a horrible like uh, a science fiction horror idea you know like I was just like my consciousness transferred into a robot that didn't feel anything and I could still like enjoy uh, things you know it's like you have to give up the sex thing and that would suck you know even if it's onanistic but it is uh, it's a lot better than uh, the you know chronic pain thing. It's trade off. So um, yeah, you thought that was like you know that really this guy I was talking to. He's like that really like hit home with him that whole idea. It's like that I said that I would like my consciousness transferred into a a robot and just that didn't feel anything. And uh, you know. In other words, I can't just lay here. I have to move around because I'm going to hurt. And uh, I got a stomach ache anyway from not eating. But I would just prefer, I don't even like to eat. I would just prefer to uh, be a brain. If I, it, I'd be a brain that can express itself. I would, I'm fine with that, you know. Um, I assume Stephen Hawking was in pain. But, you know, that's what he was, wasn't he? He's like a brain in a jar. You know, a brain stuck in a ruined body, but he could express himself. Um, but I assume he felt discomfort. I don't really know. You know, I know he wasn't always in that chair, though. That he he got disease and he got to experience many of the things in life that I didn't get to experience. And you know, I had like higher education, obviously, and whatnot. I don't know when he got stricken with that or whatever but I'm just going off on a tangent to avoid moving around and um, yeah so I will just say goodbye and that's the takeaway is talk to my brother didn't say nothing about like hurt my feelings uh, concentrating on a dental appointment my uh, real estate agent guy can't remember shit and kind of feel like I'm on my own there and that's about it yeah, so, uh, until next time, America we used to say that. I don't know. Until next time, world. Can't say that shit anymore with the internet, can you? Goodbye.